Hey guys, welcome to Tuning In. Uh, we have our guest Jeff McMillan and our co-host Safe Sanwal. What's, what's going, going on? on? What's up? What's up, boys? Jeff? Welcome to the show. Ah, oh, thanks for having so me, Jeff. Tell us about your uh, beautiful car we have here. Well, that's a uh, 2016 E63S AMG. I uh, just recently got it, um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So far, I haven't been able to play too too much <laughs> due to the weather and Define whatever else. Define playing. <laughs> Break all the rules. <laughs> the rules are made to be broken. So, uh, what are your plans with the build? Um, you know, uh, I guess during the during the times that we're in right now, I'm going to go for aesthetics first. That's why I did the wrap, and I went with the satin red chrome for my boys at uh, Raptors East. Shout out to Jay and the boys at Raptors East. Thanks for the the sick fucking wrap. It, it looks, looks really good. Yeah. yeah, it's it's insane. Yeah, it's, it's something you got to see in person. And, um, yeah, so I started with that. I got, um, I'm in the works to doing a, I bought three-piece work VS rims. Okay, nice. So those are getting sent out to um, Righteous Wheel to get redone. And, uh, yeah, lowered, lowered it, links, suspension in the front. It's air in the back. Uh, I got a stage one tune. I actually, before I even bought it, it was brought there. I said, I'm not taking it without a tune. Yeah. Bring it, have it tuned. Here's the was money. Was it done like on a dyno or just like a... So no, it's just a stage one, just a generic setup that they have for these cars. Yeah. So I think, I think the, um, I think the crank horsepower and torque on them with just the stage one is approximately between 710 and 730 horse. And I think like eight and change for the torque. That's um, dope. Yeah. yeah, it's a beast. All, all wheel drive too. That's why I wanted the formatic. Yeah. Um, and it took a while to find it. It's the uh, night package as well. So when you're when you start looking for these things, it's you know, it's hard. It took took a year to find the car. Wow, where'd you buy it from? Yeah, so I got it from Malibu Motors uh, okay. in the West End. How was your experience there? Uh, my experience so far has been really good, except for the fact that the last two cars I bought from them left with brand new squealy brakes. But they'll definitely take care of that. <laughs> You yeah. know, but that's why I'm here now, too, because you guys are going to help me take care of that problem. Oh, we got you. We got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Hopefully it's not your crazy braking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit of driver, a little bit of brakes. Yeah, there's there's definitely some hard braking going on sometimes, yeah. you know. We, so the we, squeal, if you are, if I would say, I wouldn't say abuse, but if you're hard on your brakes, what happens if you overheat them? They glaze up and there's then at that point, they're going to make noise. So yeah. usually like a service will help if it's really bad. I mean, if you see any kind of blue spots or funny spots on the rotors, you know for sure you've just overheated everything. Yeah. At that point, you just replace it. Yeah, um, 100%. So, you know, and customer like you, I would probably stick to factory rotors and probably like Akibono brake pads. They're, they're low dust and, you know, they take a pretty good beating. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, then... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want your squeaky brakes to uh, catch a cop's eye, you know? <laughs> <laughs> not that the rap shift. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not even going to brake anymore. I'm just going to downshift and swerve. You know, <laughs> just let's just try and get out of the run. way. But yeah, it, it kind of made a little bit of noise from the get-go. Um, and I, I told them about it and they're cool. And they're like, hey, man, we'll, we'll definitely, you know, bring it in and take care of it. But it's in the West End. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just buy new brake pads and yeah. get, get you guys to do them and put them on here and whatnot but a lot of plans in the works I, I have a few things already i have uh the downpipes coming in and then um black boost intakes water meth nice you know i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna do a proper build on it it's not gonna be it's not gonna be all show and no go yeah everybody around here in, in this car scene out here is jesus 700 wheel thousand wheel cars running around here yeah yeah, yeah. you know and i don't want to be the fastest I want to have a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to be, you know, just looking sick and sounding like these insane cars yeah. that don't move. You know, like I, I'm not about that shit. It's, it's, I want it to be a little bit of everything. I want you to look at it and go, whoa. And then when I start it, go, whoa. You know what? I, I, I just wouldn't you, expect that. Like, no. I see your car, and I'm like, damn, that, that thing just looks beautiful. That's it. it yeah. And I stop yeah. there. And then when you start telling me the the power you're running, I'm like, really? Damn. Like, okay, okay. You know, like, and I respect that. It's it's just you're going for that perfect look. Power looks, 
you know, the feel. Yeah, the ratio's got to be there, right? You yeah. gotta. It's kind of how I've built all my cars. Yeah. And and everything is. I just want a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? It's like perfection. Finding, if you could perfection, design your own yeah. woman. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you don't want her too hot. You don't want her too this. You don't want her too smart. You don't want yeah. her too dumb. You don't want. You want a little bit of everything. So if you could pick and choose yeah. and put it. This is your touch. It's your. It was. This was an open canvas for me. Yeah. Right. So I get to. I I bought the canvas that I wanted, and now it's up to me to design it and make it unique to mm -hmm. me, not to everyone else. I don't give two shits to, you know. I'm not gonna discredit the fact that maybe I did see a pic of a car like this with this wrap. Yeah, that's you know. called inspiration, though. Well, yeah, to hey, some extent, you know. Well, yeah, that's I'm gonna use that. So I'm, I'm we not all get inspired by each other. There's yeah, nothing wrong exactly, with that. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with you that. Know, it's, yeah, so I seen a pic and I, and, I, and I was like, you know what? I need to do this, but I'm yeah. going to put my own spin on it. Exactly. And I want it to be unique. I want it to be um, just a monster. It's an expression of yourself. An absolute monster. You know what I think? <laughs> an absolute monster. <laughs> what a beauty. What can you do? You know right? what I think it is when, I mean, maybe this is just me, but when I see a nice Mercedes, I'm just not thinking about power. I'm just not thinking about the guy behind the wheel is... Like he loves, like he loves to go fast. Like I just, I don't know what it is. It's an accomplishment behind the wheel. Yeah, That's but like, you, you feel, yeah, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. Like it's, is it a, is it because it's a Mercedes thing for sure? Because if, if that was like a M3, mm -hmm. I, I would already be like. There's a level of rudeness to yeah, it. He's yeah, he's crazy. Or if that was like a S5 or, you know, it was an yeah, S7 yeah, or RS, whatever. Like yeah. you're already thinking, oh, this guy, I know what he's about. Mm -hmm. But when you see a Mercedes, you just don't think like that. No, so it's, it's a perception. Like it's. It's kind of cool that they have that feel. It's for me. I love Mercedes. I don't own any, but I respect what Mercedes is. It's timeless. It's a well-built vehicle. Absolutely. You know? And it's you know the the thing, the thing that I can't ever get away from owning so many Mercedes now that I have. Yeah. Um, is the reliability. Um, and I don't know if maybe if you're talking to someone who has a 2001 E55 with 613,000 kilometers on it, and he's always <laughs> bitching because he hits the window up, it goes yeah. down, and, and I, you know those yeah. that kind of shit happens, and, yeah. and, and it's that's because it's been weathered, it's got mass kilometers on it, it's yeah. got this, it's got that. But if you're someone who's smart and you have you know good mechanics on your side as well. Mm -hmm. who, you know, you're doing the regular change, the oil changes, the carbon filters, the intakes, this, that, like the intake filters or, or, or doing just the regular maintenance. Yeah, minor things. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to have the issues. Yeah. And the, the other thing that you have to remember is if you're going to buy a car like this, be prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, like this isn't in my C63 to do pads and rotors on that because it was a performance package p31 development yeah um is five thousand dollars for pads yeah. and rotors yeah you know it I'm is what lucky, it is i'm lucky that <laughs> it ain't this <laughs> you know yeah. it's not a two-piece floating rotor on here yeah it's not anything like that but again it's an e-class you know c-class is 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 a little bit different as i'm getting older i'm getting you know i'll, I'll never own a coupe again i had an e92 m3 and i yeah. gave it to my son yeah and i was like you know what when he was 16, I bought him a 335. Because mm -hmm. I was like, ah, twin turbo, we're going to make this thing a monster. The problem is, is that, sorry if you Beamer fans out there, but... Uh, N54 problems. <laughs> N54 problems. Yeah. And also just a crappy tuner from Brampton. Yes. Who, who botched it right up. And he was just total garbage. And uh, it, was a, it was probably the worst car experience I've ever had to go through in my life. And unfortunately, I had to go through it with my son. Yeah. With whom is my best friend. He's my life. He's everything nice. to me. And I give him everything in the world. Yeah. Because I had nothing. Yeah. And if I can do for him, that's, what do I live for? That's my trophy. That's amazing, bro. You know what I I'm saying? That. I, I yeah. live for my son. Yeah. And he's my best friend. He's my life. Yeah. And, um, but yeah. You know what's it, actually interesting that you said, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. You know what's really interesting? It's the first time we're hearing, you know, when you always hear, oh, your daddy must have bought this. So we're going to get the perspective of your daddy bought this. Mm -hmm. So like, you love your son. You give him what he wants. Yep. Right? Absolutely. W w tell me more about that. It's um, before we were speaking off mic and, and before we were recording, I'd let you know that it was a little bit of a rough upbringing for me, right? I'm, yeah. I'm a, I was a Scarborough kid. Yeah. Um, and I was a pretty much a white kid in a black neighborhood. Yeah. And I, and I fought to survive. 
Hence, mm. your Jamaican accent is on point. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we don't know. So this is our bad man thing. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, when you grow up with that and, and you're instilled with that and you see these things. And so I didn't have much. And everything I had, I hustled for my whole life. Yeah. I was on the grind from day one. And um, I didn't, everything I had to work for and do this and do that and take the risks that I took to get to where I am now and to do the things that I can do now. Yeah. And uh, I just never wanted my son to do that. And I never wanted to have to go through that. Yeah. And, you know, he's, it, when I, when so many people have children and, you know, men 90% of the time, um, and they go through a lot with the woman. Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll be like, you know what? I can't even take, I'm going to explode. I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to do this. So they just vanish. Mm -hmm. I was like, F that. Sorry, I'm not sure if I could swear or not, but that's I did, cool, bro. I didn't this, want to. this is your do what you, know you what gotta I mean? do. Yeah. But um, I was like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fight, and I fought, and uh, I got everything I wanted in court, and I did everything, and I, I did it myself without a lawyer. And wow. I, yeah, and I smoked her lawyer. Damn. It, like, yeah, it was crazy. It was the most epic thing in my life, and it's the biggest accomplishment, the biggest anything that I've ever done in my whole life was that. So you have full custody of your son. So no, what I was, what what I do have is open. I can do as I wish, when I wish nice. with my child. And it's been like that for some time now. Mm -hmm. And my son will openly tell you he is my best friend. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yes, he yes, calls he me will. five times a day and he's always fucking with me. So if, if we, like, and we fuck with each other and, and it's just a joke all the time. And, That's amazing. You know, bro. and now yeah. me, and her, me and his mom are friends and we're cool and I'm cool yeah. with the stepdad who married the woman and... Like, I've always tried to be cordial and make everything peaceful and nice because it just, there's too much stress and anxiety mm -hmm. in the yeah. world today yeah, that yeah. I don't want this between us. You know what I mean? I want to yeah. be able to go over to the grandparents' house, sit in their garage and, yeah. you know, smoke a spliff with them, chill out, throw some darts. They're new feed, we throw darts and, uh, and do all those things. But that's, you know, getting back to what we were talking about originally is I don't want him to take and do the things that I had to do. Yeah. And, and don't get it twisted. My son's not silver spooned by any means. Mm -hmm. um, he has to work. He has to show discipline in certain things. He has to not get in trouble. Yeah, he yeah. has to not so smoke. So you got some rules. So you got I, rules. Oh, I'm, I'm strict as fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. you ain't smoking weed. You're 19 years old. You're not smoking weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not. And, and I, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I'm on that about him, right? Yeah, and yeah. I don't like it. Um, I do myself. Yeah. At the end of the day. When everything's said and done, I don't do it during the day because it sucks the drive out of me and I'll get nothing done. Yeah. Um, and, and I know that it affects people differently, but I don't know too many stoners that are people like who want to get up and go and, you know. Six, successful drive. or productive. Well, yeah. yeah. Productive is, is the main thing, right? That's, this is not something, unless you are productive at eating Cheetos. <laughs> you know what I mean? If that's your goal yeah, for yeah, today, yeah. Like, I'm going to smash that whole bag of Cheetos. Yeah, make a YouTube video and uh, my two million followers need to see it. By all means. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, and then yeah. the, maybe a backup to throwing it all up later. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm strict and he doesn't do these things. My son doesn't, yeah. doesn't like to drink. He doesn't, let, he doesn't smoke. He doesn't okay. do any of that kind of stuff. I respect that. So it's, it's, not, uh, it's not really daddy is giving it. You know what? There's an understanding and... You yeah, know, you gotta, obviously you, he's listening to what you like, what you want. You want the best from him, and then in return, you guys have a great relationship. And it comes down to communication. Yeah, they communicate well with each other, and yeah. they're on the same page. And there's and there's you know what it really it's a, it's a level of respect, right? So my son, like I was saying earlier, it when we we're in the early stages of his life, it was very very troublesome. Me and the mom fighting all the time, arguing mm -hmm. this that blah blah blah, all kinds of nonsense and bullshit. Yeah, and um. So the only way to get at me was, you know, you don't have my heart. That child has my heart. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So yeah. now that she knows that she doesn't have that, but she knows she has that. Now the tables have turned where she mm -hmm. still owns me in her mind. Yeah. Right? Yeah, in yeah. her mind, she does. Yeah. And in my heart, she does. Yeah. So we went through these battles and I wouldn't see my son for like three months, this and that. So we started Damn, acting bro. up in school. Yeah. And what is he saying? Yeah. What is he saying? He's saying, you're to the teachers, to anyone, you're not my dad. You can't tell me nothing. If my dad was here, yo, if I call my dad and tell him you spoke like that, if my dad and his friends come here, that was everything. Everything to everyone was my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad. Yeah. It wasn't anything else. So 
you know, unbeknown to her, the, co- the school would call me, his daycare would call me, mm-hmm. and they would let me come and see him. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yes. So they would hide me. The school that's insane. would hide yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah. then as he got older and older, he got better in school. Mm-hmm. So what, what had happened was he was acting up, he was doing this and that, so he was in grade five or six, and then I got called to the school. I got called to the school. So on the, on the second time in, in one week, <laughs> like three days later, I was like, you know what, Rye? I don't see you enough to always want to give you shit when I see you. Mm-hmm. I don't see you enough, fella. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't. I go, you're breaking my heart. I go, I, I, I'm not angry, Rye. I'm like disappointed. I'm like, I'm sad that I have to do this. Like, and this is on you. And I understand, you know, these are the situations, but me expressing to him that I'm disappointed is what changed everything. Wow. Is that he didn't want to let dad down. He yeah, yeah, that's a big thing for a kid too. To understand. Yeah, you don't never want to let your dad down. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so when he turned 16, I'm like, man, what is the, you know, well, not even turned 16, but when he got his G2. Yeah. What is the greatest thing you can do? He thought that I bought that 335 for me, for winter, but I didn't. I bought it, I tuned it, I put rims, suspension, I did all that. The day he turned six, well, the day he got his G2, yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm going to pick you up. I went, I picked him up. We drove to my house. I'm like, this is yours, homie. Take it. Damn, Enjoy okay, it. okay. You know? Yeah. Here you go. I'll cover the insurance and everything yeah. for a while. Then we're going to get you straight, and we're going to get you settled, and we're going to get you your own. You're not going to go under your mom's. You're not going to go under mine. You're yeah. going to go under your own. Yeah. So I had a good insurance link and uh, legitimate. And uh, I ended up getting him full insurance at 17 years old on a BMW uh, coupe, you know, um, for like 270 bucks a month. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. (laughs) His friends are paying 800, 900. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I got him a really good deal on that. And then uh, he never, he never messed up. You know, he, he, everything was in the bank and paid for. I told him, listen, this is where you're going to start. I'll help with the car parts, the tuning, and I can do, I'm very mechanically inclined. I can do a lot of shit myself. But yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm going to help you build it. We're going to do this because this is what we do. This is what father and son should do. Yeah, it's the most you know special I mean? thing you can do, bro. Yeah, I'm not a yeah. hunter. I don't, I'll hunt. Yeah. I'll go and shoot shit and do whatever. I, I like to race cars, drive cars. I'm a yeah. car guy my whole life. Yeah. And, and this is what I love and live. This is my passion. Besides, you know, working out and back in the day partying, having some fun. But uh, this is what I like to do. So I go to the car meets down with my son. We go yeah. here. We go to the races. We go. This is. How could you ask for anything more than that? I think it's nice that both of you guys enjoy it. Yes. The absolutely. fact that both of you guys enjoy it. And then it makes it that much more special. Because mm-hmm. you're, you know, it's father, son time together with cars, with muscle, gas, you name oh. it, it's all there. It's as manly as it gets. Yeah. And you have a badass, well, he has a badass car. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. No, no, yeah. And he's actually now, so he went from a 335 to an E92 M3. And then when I bought my CLS, I gave him my C63. Nice. And then his mom called me and said, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. He took me for a drive in that thing. That's right. That is not cool. <laughs> you should not have that kind of shit <laughs> yeah, at all. How old is he right now? So he's 19 now. Oh, damn. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah 19, I, nice. I got Integra. I thought that was badass. <laughs> well, he, now he has an S4. Nice. Yeah, so he yeah. has a B8 and a B8.5 yeah. in the Audi world. Yeah. And uh, full bolt. We have everything for him. Mm-hmm. Um, I already did his heat exchangers and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do his build as well. Nice. So he's going to go for about 500 wheel and, you know, 500 torque and whatever, whatever he wants to do with it. But it's a nasty little machine. I love it. I drive it. Whenever yeah. I have stuff to do, like he took it, so I did the infotainment. Yeah. So I said, right, car's at my work. Go pick it up. Left the keys in it. He goes there. My boss, everyone knows him, lets him drive in the yard nice. you know, and do everything. So it was cool. He brought it. He got the infotainment put in and um, yeah, he just... He takes it, and it's so funny. He gets in this, and I think he's going to be driving like a savage. Takes the suspension off, sport, takes everything <laughs> off, puts it in comfort, <laughs> chills, puts the massaging seats on, and he's driving to Miss Daisy. You know, and I'm like, ah, that's pretty cool. Where he gets in the C63, and he's like, I, I get it back broken all the time. <laughs> 
Okay, Jeff, so I've known you for a, a long time. Yep. And um, you used to come to me at the flea market. Absolutely. I remember that. Yeah. You used to come to me actually quite often. Often. Yes. <laughs> Great customer. <laughs> <laughs> the good old if days. There's, if there's money to blow recklessly on shit, yeah. I'll do that. You're my guy. I'm, okay. I'm in. <laughs> Car parts it is. <laughs> Car parts it is. Right? You having, know, a, you... having a slow sales day? Call Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, Jeff. I just got this new shit in. It's dope. It's so like, well, what did you have it. at the time? Um, at that time, I could have been between a few cars. Um, I had a fully built 91 EF SI Civic. I don't remember that one. Did you have a G35? I did have a G35 as well. I remember well. that. I remember um, that. And so those times, though, that I was getting all the parts, I had my EF. I had a DA, 91 DA. Okay. With okay. a uh, Frankenstein that I built myself. <laughs> okay. Yep. Did everything. Like, built, put the motor together, everything. Um, and, yeah, then I upgraded that. Actually, I blew the motor that I built. <laughs> and then came and bought more parts for me. Thank you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I won the race. <laughs> lost the motor that's all that matters who cares yeah, right so all. then a friend of mine actually um had like at that point my dream car which was a 93 honda prelude srv Ooh, a nice. jdm car left hand drive though wow right yeah. so that is that's like i'm like whoa <laughs> i need this shit I, yeah I so he thought it. the motor was blown so let's not let me let me start this up he wasn't like a close friend or anything. <laughs> but he was a friend because he was a car guy, he had. Right? It was a car he had. He was, right? an, he was an acquaintance, right. yeah. So he was an acquaintance and someone that, you know, I acquainted with kind of regularly. Um, I don't want to call him a close friend because you don't usually take those guys for granted. And, but when you see a deal, you see a deal. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Spending a lot on car parts, don't have a lot more for the cars. Yeah. So he ended up wanting my DA because it was all custom. It was all done nice, leather interior, all this, seats, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So he's like, listen, I know you just blew the motor in that. I have a motor. He goes, but the motor in the Prelude is wonky as well. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to do a straight up trade? I'm like, let me think about it. <laughs> My mind was already made up. Like as yeah. soon as he said that, I knew what I was doing, but I had to make it seem like I was, you know. You're not that excited. <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> fuck wants that you know what I mean like <laughs> not me on a prelude not me, yeah nobody know? wants that shit yeah and it was fully blacked out already and it was it, it had a suspension already nice so um, you know I let a couple days go by and I'm like yo dude if you're interested you know what I'll take you up on that offer so uh, he's like alright so I went and I seen the car and I got in and um, it wouldn't start so I'm like okay you know what Let's do it anyways. So we just towed the cars back and forth. Nice. I towed that one to my house, uh, the prelude to my house. And when I got there, it was a neutral safety switch. Wow. That's all it was. And the car was fucking mint, dude. You won. I was like, I yeah. won this whole thing. This is crazy. <laughs> so that's where the real, this was my most epic build ever. Yeah. Like, above and beyond, my, my, my C63 might be up there with that. But so I ended up, um, I ended up buying a Euro R motor for it because I blew that motor. A Euro R. Euro Ooh, R. Those are hard to get. Yeah, two point three liter blue top, um, fully built by Gilman, Gilman Autosport. So if anybody knows anything about CSCS, uh, Gilman with this motor won CSCS every year, mm -hmm. like destroyed everybody. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, and I bought it. And um, I did it all myself, put it in, did everything. Then I just had some issues tuning. And then Nick, Nick from, um, I forget where the hell he's from, but he tunes all the Hondas here. Yeah. Technotic. Yeah, Technotic, yeah. Technotic back in the day. I think that's what they were called, Technotic. And he has his own shop now. He's doing his own thing. He's still tuning. He's got a dyno and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so we ended up doing that. And um, for an all-motor JDM car... This thing was slapping big numbers, 315 wheel horsepower. Wow. And I think it was 237 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. And so I did, and full LSD. Um, I mean, everything. You and went all out. I went all out. So I did, yeah. I actually sourced 
original Mugen stuff. Yeah. Like I'm I'm so fanatical with that kind of shit <clears throat> that it wasn't about oh because it's the most expensive. It's no, it's because it's the most JDM. Yeah, and it's hard to find. No one has it. So it's it was, rare and it's yeah, real. Cool and shit. Yeah. Like I don't care what I got to do, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. I don't care how much time it takes, yeah. how much money it costs. This is what I have. I have a vision. I have a picture. This is what I want to do. Yeah. And uh, I ended up doing that. And then uh, three inch exhaust all the way back and four to one high tech headers. Like that was like, I paid like 2,200 bucks for headers for a Honda <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, whoever even, who even heard of that? You that's know like what I mean? 5K by now. now yeah, 100%. That's 5K. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's big four money. to one ceramic coated high tech headers. Yeah. Fucking crazy JDM shit, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was that was probably like my super super main love that car. I mean, that was my son's favorite car ever. Yeah. Out of all my cars, that's my son's like memory is that you know ripping, racing everyone, going nuts and having fun and you know like it. it the thing was just it was the most fun, mm-hmm. and and I loved it. And uh, you know you hear, the, I don't care how old you are or what kind of car you're in now. If you grew up in that era with those cars, Hondas, yeah. Nothing sounds better than fucking VTEC hitting. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I had a VTEC timer. I would like put yeah, it to like yeah. 35. No performance. Yeah. But wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I agree. There's something special about VTEC. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. You couldn't, you couldn't replace that. Yeah. I was like, yo, just wait till you hear the V. Wait till the <laughs> VTEC kicks in. It's getting hot. <laughs> you have to warm it up a little bit too. You kind of just... If yeah, well, yeah, your oil pressure. And then the VTEC yeah. kicked in, you know, or the oil pressure switch used to go, and then it, you wouldn't get VTEC anymore. Oh, that's That bad. was a big problem, you know. That's a big that problem. Was, I was yeah. lucky that I had, um, there's no replacement for displacement, even with Hondas. So I was lucky, even without VTEC, like, because if it, my, my solenoid w- went or something stupid like that, I didn't clean the filter in the solenoid and yeah. blah, 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 blah. Um, I still had some jam. You know, I could still smoke some cars and, and have some fun. But were you really, you know... You're, I was mainly going for, like I said before, aesthetics. So yeah. I want a little bit of everything. I want the car to look good. Yeah. I want it to be fast. I want it to sound sick. Yeah. I want the stereo. So I did a full custom system in it too. But my son at that point was young, so he had to sit in a car seat. Yeah. So That's crazy. I sit in the driver's seat. He's got to be sitting here so he could see dad. You know what I mean? And he knows what's going on. So he could have <laughs> sit behind me. He needs to sit here. We got to see dad. Yeah. And, you know, he's got to, my son lived like this. <laughs> oh, dad, he's coming. You got to race that guy. You got to race that guy, right? So I could see Riley doing that. Oh, man. Yeah. And it never changed. Like, even now, 19 years old, we're in the fucking car. We're on the highway. Yeah. He's checking the side view, the mirrors, to see if there's halogen lights. Like, what kind of car is coming up? He's like, yo, 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 you might want to put that in sport right now. There's a thing pulling up right now. I'm like, give, Riley. Give him the beans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, fuck, simmer down, bro. You know, and then after a few after a few high-speed chases with him in the car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got away. Not with the police. Uh, no. Not with those guys. No, 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 no. no, no. Not those I mean, uh, yeah. High yeah. speed. Yeah, it was, yeah, fuck, I don't even know. It was in Mexico. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever happens in Mexico is this hot, It was right? in Mexico, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, good trip. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was, you know, that's where the car builds and that's where my son's fanatics came to. So now he's a super car guy. I'm a car guy and he's got the Audi and we're German engineering all the way. So when did his, when did you join the dark side? When did that happen? When you went to Euro? Um, so basically, when did that happen? That happened with my C63. Mm-hmm. Five years ago? More. No, longer Ten than that. Ten years ago? Yeah, so I would say seven, seven or eight years ago. Okay. Um, possibly eight or nine, actually. I don't know. My memory's shit. Um, but yeah, I went to my friend who used to have SAG, Supreme Auto Group. Yeah. Uh, yep. Lamont I remember and those, those guys. guys. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good so guys. then now they have Wiltshire Homes. Yeah. Um, and congrats, boys. You're killing it. It's amazing. And they're still good friends of mine. We go out for birthdays and all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah. But anyways, they called me. I said, yo, there's a monster here you might want to check out. So I went there and uh, <laughs> looked like a complete idiot because I took the car out for a test drive. Yeah. And I didn't know how to turn the trash control right off. But at that point, I thought I did. Yeah. Right? And, and I had a guy with me, so I didn't want to look like an idiot. So I'm driving it, and I'm like, this thing ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's, oh, it's P P31. I'm like, what the fuck? This thing doesn't even move. <laughs> you know? So I didn't. 
I brought it back. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. So my buddy, so Lamont, like, so he's like, did you turn the traction control off? I go, yeah, I put it to sport. He goes, no, 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 no. Can I take it back out? He's like, of course you can. <laughs> take two. Took it back out. Yeah. All hell broke loose. And I f- fucked up a little bit there because actually my first German car was a Audi A6 V8 4.2 liter that I slammed. I plasti dipped. <laughs> uh, we've, all, we've all been there. Yeah, we've all dip. been there. Right? Yeah. I had to, actually, I didn't do it. I had a professional do it. Okay. <laughs> he was a professional plasti dip player. <laughs> yeah, he was 18. He's a pro. Uh, <laughs> In his mom's garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he laid it down good. It lasted. Respect the hustle. I, I do, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and for $650, you can't fucking eat it. <laughs> so <laughs> I was willing to risk it all at that point. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's where it started with that. And yeah. um, I tuned it, slammed it. It was like this car rolled around Durham, nasty. Like it was fucking insane. And it was an Audi, so it was Quattro. So I didn't even take the 20s off for winter. I just rolled sick <laughs> all year round. Like I'm going to Scarborough the shit out of this car. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, Quattro brother. drive, man. Right? And then, uh, so then after that, I got the 6.3. But yeah, he, he showed me how to turn the trash control off. Then I took it out and I was, just brought it back. And I'm like, where do I sign? And then yeah. it all went downhill from there because <laughs> my pockets were empty. <laughs> like I was, you know, and I'm someone who's used to having, you know, some loot. Yeah. And I was dropping it hard on this car. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do headers. All of a sudden, those $2,000 headers, that was a good deal. It was a steal of a deal? $6,000. But now it's a V8, so I got to buy two of them. So I'm like, oh, the math adds up. No replacement for displacement. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and then I did a, I had the motor built as oh, well. Oh, nice. Wow. Yep. And um, they did everything. Eurocharge did everything. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, uh, that car was a, that car is notorious around the city of Toronto. Yeah. Um, that thing is fucking famous as shit. It's my, I would like to say my biggest regret was selling it, but. If you know AMGs, once you put a lot of kilometers on these, yeah. and I'm by no, like, I'm a savage, and I'm a demon on the street. Mm-hmm. I, I have road rage. I'm a spaz. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Ricky Bobby. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. I don't care if it's to the fucking light. Yeah. I don't care if it's to the parking spot. <laughs> I don't care if it's, I don't care where it is. Yeah. And I'm in a race to get nowhere all the time. Yep. I'm just going for a coffee. Why do I have to get there warp speed? <laughs> <laughs> because I can. <laughs> That's why. Because I can. Yeah. You know? And uh, it was it was a good time, and I loved that car. But it just came to the point where I was like, fuck, I've had it for five years. The maintenance is like five grand a year. And it's not about that because it's still a weapon, right? So I got a good offer on it, and I was like, you know what? Man, let's change it up. Plus, I had already bought the CLS, and I tuned that down pipes and... Mm-hmm. Oh, that thing, thing is wonderful, man. Yeah, it's a weapon. Yeah, I think how's, you're how's a weapon, loving it? I th- oh, he's loving it, but I think you're a weapon, man. Last year was it last year at Wasaga Beach. You know, we see you Ooh. up, we see you up there. You're like, oh, guys, how how's it going up there? How's it going? You come up like right in the middle of the night. <laughs> you meet my friends, and yeah. like they're, they're they all could say the same thing about you if you ask each one individually. You're like you're an animal, <laughs> like cops <laughs> everywhere. And here's Jeff. Just breaking it loose, like pop, <laughs> like okay. he's the sheriff. Right in front of the cops, like, like he's the sheriff. Yeah, <laughs> no one. Bats sheriff an came eye. to town. No sheriff one came to town. Yeah. yeah, you know, he enjoys himself and he gives no fucks doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have I have zero fucks to give until I get caught. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's not even you know what, you got to have fun, man. Yeah. And in these times, like. But you're not allowed to do nothing. We're know, being man. held hostage in our countries, mm-hmm. in our provinces, in our cities, in our towns. And the laws are getting tougher on modifications and enjoying. Yeah, and, and, you know, yeah. and that's why, like, you know, especially with the modifications and doing stuff like that, you know, you get yeah. pulled over these days. You can get 10, 15 tickets. So, like, oh, yeah. So what's like, your worst experience? Honesty, with like, a, what's your worst experience with the with the with the law? Um. With cars? Car, car related. Yeah, car, yeah, car related. Car related. <laughs> For the record, car related. Um, I would say car related. Fuck. You know, the thing is, is like I've never been heavily ticketed because I've never stopped. <laughs> uh, Simple as that. Yeah. Don't 
honestly, don't make your car, if I could give anybody here who's watching this any advice, make your car fast before you make it loud. Mm -hmm. This is the advice I'm going to give you. How, what do they say to people, right? You, you kill people with silence. You kill people with kindness. Mm -hmm. The cops are so angry when you have a sick car that looks nasty and they can't pull you over for shit. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You have yeah. that loud exhaust. That's a reason. Yeah. That's Easy a reason. reason. Easy reason. That's yeah. I don't reason, know what you're right? talking about. So, yeah, you know, you wouldn't know at all, right? <laughs> but, and, and so make it, if you're going to tune it, and it, unless you're an aesthetics person and you're going for looks and you want to go to car meets and have, you know what I mean? Just for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah, have, sure, have yeah. chicks with nice bodies and ugly faces on your car taking pics. <laughs> you know, that's usually like 90% of them, you know? Uh, <laughs> if that's what you're into, then, hey, by all means... Yeah. Build your Scion and your Genesis yep. and do whatever you got to do. Yep. But I'm not into that. I'm... You like the complete package. Yeah, I want class yeah. with sass yeah. and a little badass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's I, I will say, though, one of the rudest things I've ever seen is Riley's M3 after he got it tuned. Yes. That was the most disrespectful, outrageous thing I've seen in my entire life. And getting rid of that car was probably the best thing for his record. Absolutely, because he was getting destroyed <laughs> ticket-wise with that car. It was, so, it, the, he did this stupid, gave him this burble tune yeah. with pops and bangs, and I was totally against it. And then he's like, you know what would probably be a better idea to do with all this? Let's delete the muffler and the resignator in a V8 Damn. that yep. screams to 8,600 RPMs yeah. with a 17 or 17-year-old behind the wheel. Let me tell you, though, it was cool as shit for all of about a month. It was. It was so cool. It was, and it remember was the amazing. custom steering wheel? How loud was this thing? <laughs> like, beyond... So, my C63 was louder. Yeah. But it didn't have the, the flamethrower tune. Your <laughs> R8 was lo is loud. Yeah. This is, like, your R8 times 10 shooting a bazooka out the back yeah. oh, so it does with, the like, pops, with like, like three and a half, four foot flames. Holy shit. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely insanely vicious. Yes. Um, and it was, it was at the point where if me and him went somewhere, it was annoying. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, if you're traveling with us, you're like, buddy, shut the fuck up, loser. Like it's, you're, so, you're, you're so sick of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's cool at first and then... Yeah. You want, and, maybe you want to talk and you can't hear shit and it's just, I see what oh, you're Oh, it, yeah. it was obnoxious. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know when he's coming. Whenever he pulls up, I'm like... It shook the ground. <laughs> oh, 100%, you know? <laughs> and, and, and again, like, and I want to give credit to that and, like, to him for doing that and owning that and doing whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I gave him the platform, the canvas, and he did what he wanted with it. Yeah. And, and that was fine um, until he put about 30,000 kilometers on it in four months. Then where I was Holy like, bro, do you take this thing to the bathroom with you? <laughs> so yeah, Jeff, it was really nice to have you on the show. A lot of uh, interesting things. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, for me, it's really nice bringing on a guest and kind of knowing where and how, like, you came into having what you have. You know, someone sees you uh, drive by, they just think, oh, this guy likes, oh, nice car. 90% mm -hmm. of people might say a nice car. Some people don't even know what kind of car it is. Mm -hmm. You know, but then to actually Absolutely. have you come on and talk about your journey, you're yeah. a Honda guy like me, which is, I mean, that's crazy if you think about it. Oh, 100%. Right? It's like you started from the bottom and... We're here. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> Euro is the top. And, um, but yeah, man, it's, it's really nice to have you on and kind of learn about... You know, we're, we're learning from our, yeah, our guests. Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on, you know? Yeah. And uh, with everything that we talked about, I just want everybody to know, you know, I was a ghetto kid. I had shit. I had nothing. Yeah. But I hustled my ass off. You worked hard. I worked. I, 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 whatever, I would listen and I would be a sponge and soak everything up. Mm -hmm. How can I get, you know, and then there's levels, right? You start with the Civic. Then I went to the Integra. Then I went to the Prelude. Then I went to the yeah. R or G35, which you know about. I know. I remember right? that. Right. Yeah. And then Audi, C63, CLS, E63S. Like, it takes time, and you're not gonna. You know, I'm 42 years old. Yeah. I'm 42. I have a 19 year old son. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate everything I have. Yeah. And and definitely, you know, for you car guys out there who 
don't think you're going to be stuck with a scion or whatever you're stuck with. Keep your ass down. Don't spend your money on bullshit. Keep your money. And best of all, make sure your credit's good because then you can get anything you want. You should pay it off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But yeah, thanks again for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. No, the thank call you, Jeff. And, uh, yeah. appreciate thank you so much, I love much, it. Man. The shops, you don't see shops like this around. Too many, yeah, we're trying to do something different, man. Yeah, this, this is this, this is different, yeah. man. This is this is clean. This is fucking really nice. How many hoists you got in here? We're eleven in here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and this is this is our. We're not done now. Our our dream is to go standalone building. Let's make something unique. You know, something yeah. different, but dealership level where it's a standalone building with service, with used cars, with performance section. So. You know, from the flea market to where it is right now, I think we're doing pretty good. And uh, on both fronts, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. I can afford to go to Eurocharge now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can afford to go there. Yeah. You can afford to do some shit. Yeah. But yeah, again, from the flea market was that's a huge step up, bud, and that's a huge come up. And fuck, I'm proud of you, man. That's hard work, dedication. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. it, right? So yeah. just with everybody, and the other thing that these guys need to know is hard work trumps talent. Yeah. And and always. If you have both though. I think the key to is a heart. Yeah. 100%. You got to have you got to have the right heart cuz uh, hard work but you have to have a you have to have the right heart. When you go through hard times, your your heart's there to to keep you going and then mm -hmm. when you go through your good times, your heart's also there to keep you like, "Hey, level headed. Remember where you came from." 100%. To just Absolutely. cool you down because sometimes we, you know, we men, we get a little excited. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, it's been a journey. And at this point, I just felt the need that we need to have a voice, you know, and we're just we're starting with the voice, you know, and every just, guest we bring on, yeah. we're going to learn something. We learn something from your perspective. Is it everything I agree with? Not necessarily, but I want to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. This is for you to talk. Let's see what. Yep. Let's see how you feel. And for sure, you know, we want to bring on the cops. We want to bring someone from the MTO. We want to bring someone. It's. At the end of the day, we want to bring guests on who have something to contribute to our cause. No, absolutely. You gotta. You, you definitely have to have. And and you know what? The access to information, maybe not a lot of people knows. You know, so having people on like that, yeah. uh, paralegals even, and and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and have yeah. have different people from different views, different walks of life. Yeah. You know, bringing the rich dude that's driving a Bentley Continental in here. You know, you're getting different feedback from different people. Yeah. And that can only help because we all have a voice. It might not always be the same, but it's definitely nice to hear different. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So chase your dreams, do your thing, and this is it. This is amazing, brother. I'm happy for you. Thank you, brother. And thank you for coming on. Appreciate I hope, it. I hope to see you again, man. You will soon, definitely. You got to do my spark plugs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Have a good you. night. Peace, guys. You're getting the same trouble. Yeah, Whether oh, you stop or get away. Wow. It's the same shit. Oh, evading police. No, I wasn't. I didn't even know you were there. I couldn't hear you. You know how loud my exhaust is? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't see it because my tints are too dark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, might as well. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. The financial consequences for some of these things, especially for the young kids, like on insurance rates and on all these things with all these stupid tickets, you'll pull out like a yeah. tape measure and be like, oh, you're a millimeter too low. Is that why, did your wife say that to you? Is that why you're using that against us? <laughs> might have a valid point here. You know? Yeah. It might be a couple inches too short, bud. There's times where you give people breaks and whatnot, right? Reason, you know? Yeah. You know, listen. I mean, I, I think you if you're doing something stupid, you deserve it. You know, if you're no, being a moron or if you're putting other people's life in danger, I'm, I'm, I'm on the police side in terms of do your job. I think you know, we all 100%, are at the end of the right? day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. If, we don't like those guys. If you Whenever choose, we're at the car shows and people are leaving and they're doing... We're like, fuck, not this city. Yeah. He's going to ruin it for us because yeah. we like to come together and yeah. we like to congregate and do things and, and see each other outside. Like, with what the shit is going on right now, yeah. Yeah. This, what, this is what we have. Yeah. What else do we have, right? And if, if you are doing stupid shit and you're willing to face the consequences, then that's fine. You get your means, ticket, man. you pay for it. That's your problem. But yeah. you know what? It's like uh, sometimes you go to the meets and everyone's chilling. Everyone's having a great time. Everyone's showing off their cars, which is what we want to do. Hey, let me hear it. Great. But it's when, you know, the guys start doing stupid things and people are getting hit and cars are being hit. Now the we have seen that police well, are yeah. forced. Yes, we have. They're forced to come out and do their job. Like if Oh, by all means, man. If, if everybody acted, you know, you know, maybe the car meets ain't the best place to do those things. But when you're out with your buddies and you're ripping yeah. and it's a good time, 
just make sure you're not, you know, riding with people that aren't that solid yeah. and they have fast cars.